Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Green Vichter with the two V's, and I'm here with another fantastic reading for you guys today. I am so jazzed about this one. Um, I used my new favorite tarot deck, the, um, oh my gosh, oh no, it's too far. Um, I used my movie tarot deck. I, I would show you, like, some of, some of the cards right now, but I don't want to spoil the reading with the cards that we already have drawn. Um, but I used my movie tarot deck, and I also hold um, songs too. So we're gonna get a really in-depth reading. But anyways, what are we doing the reading on? We're gonna do the reading on, are you their next partner, their next relationship, their next romance? Yeah, this is gonna be juicy. This is gonna be hot. Like literally as I was shuffling, I, <laughs> I have notes from like little, We'll see sneak peek there, but notes from just messages I was getting as I was shuffling. Um, so I'm definitely I'm, I'm going to be going from those notes. I'm going to be going off of the cards, and um, I did uh, pull up my iPad again so we can look at the meaning of all of the uh, movie tarot cards as well as the song lyrics too. So, anyways, let's get into the piles. So pile one. We have right here with the Angelite stone. Pile two, we have with the Rough Cut Amazonite. Pile three, we have the Moonstone. I believe this is the Cloudy Moonstone. And pile four, we have with the Clear Quartz. So, I want you to go ahead and start thinking of that person um, that you, you're really like, you're really, really feeling right now. Like you really would like to be with them possibly, um, in a relationship. And I want you to pick whichever stone or pile you're most drawn to. And I will have, a uh, time screen, time, time stamps <laughs> and, um, time stamps with each pile number for the video in the description as well as the comments below. My words just got jumbled there. I'm sorry about that. I'm just so excited for this reading. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I'll have time stamps so you don't have to watch through all of the other readings. So anyways, let's get to this. All right. All right. Pile one, group one. If you chose the angelite, this message is for you. Are you going to be their next partner? Their next relationship. Let's see. All right. So for the overall song feeling, we have Lightning by State Champs. And I'll pull those lyrics up soon. I'll just go through with the cards real quick. And then um, for your first tarot card, we have Temperance. The movie is Leave No Trace. And I did pull clarifier cards for um, all of the movie cards as well. And the second tarot card we have is the Five of Cups with the Bataduke. And then we have the Nine of Nine of Swords with It Follows. Interesting, you got two horror movies. Hmm. Let's see. Alright, and then for your clarifier for temperance, we have the chariot momentum. And then for your clarifier for the five of cups. Uh, we have the Three of Gems, Collaboration. And for your clarifier of the Nine of Swords, we have the Empress, Riches with Receive. And then for your mermaid messages, we have Listen. I'll, I'll read all those when we get to them. Because <laughs> there's, there's a lot of reading to do with this one. And then the, for your second one, we have Breathe. Okay, and then I pulled um, two, oh my gosh, what are they called? Power of Love cards. So the first one we have is Discernment. Put that there. And then for the second one, we have Spontaneity. And then for your Messenger Oracle cards, we have Time to Reflect. And the second one is uh do not fear the unknown. All right, so first off, I want to get into this song. It is a great song. Love it to death. Um, it often pops into my head randomly too, 
which makes me like really scratch my head and like, oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, so basically the gist of the song um, is like a guy not really noticing the relationship, like not really noticing like there was some kind of spark between them until she mentions it. Um, he says, who knew we were lightning? I saw a spark before we heard any sound. Um, and basically it's him, um, him, the, the, the singer, because it's a, a male singer rethinking, you know, everything. And um, basically is saying he's gonna go out on a limb and maybe try this out, see where it goes. And as I was listening to the song, my little sticky notes, um, some of the messages that I got, um, it happened so fast, so suddenly. Um, let's take chances, unexpected. I didn't, didn't notice or won't notice until you say something. So that's the overall energy that we're getting with that song is I feel like they they don't really um they haven't really looked at you that way yet um at least that's what I'm getting from that song but so far it's like a good little spark at least um but anyways let's get into let's move these aside we'll do these a little bit later let's get into your tarot cards okay so for Temperance, we have Leave No Trace. Let's pull up that movie. So the movie, the description from IMDb, it says a father and his 13-year-old daughter are living in an ideal existence in a vast urban park in, or in Portland, Oregon, when a small mistake derails their lives forever. Now, I haven't seen this movie. Um... But with the with the the meaning of the temperance card, uh, temperance means balance, cooperation, and um, it can also mean some compromise as well. So obviously, with leave no trace in the description, I feel like um, it, it basically they 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 <laughs> they don't know that you have these feelings towards them. I feel like they're just kind of blissfully unaware. And I feel like once your lightning hits them, they're like, oh, okay, well. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's, that's what I'm getting like from the temperance card. And then um, for the, for the, the um, clarifier with the chariot, I feel like it's going to be a little bit of a journey too. Um, like possibly you've known this person for a really, really long time. And it may be like a sort of coming within time thing. Like it may not happen right away, sort of a deal. All right, so let's get into the Five of Cups with the Vataduke. All right, so description for this one. A single mother and her child fall into a deep well of paranoia when an eerie child children's book titled Mr. Vataduke manifests in their home. All right, so I have seen this one. I am a horror movie fan, and um, it again, I, I'm really impressed with the person who made these horror movie cards because it it lines up so well. Um, but the Five of Cups represents like grief, loss, and sadness, and with the uh, the Bata Duke, it it kind of um, dwells in this. Um, this this state of like being lost and not knowing and like there's a great sadness to the film it's a very heavy film even though it's you know horror and creepy like it's a, it's a heavy film it's a heavy heavy feeling just like the five of cups there's a lot of emotions there um so it's possible that you guys, oh yeah, with the clarifier, collaboration, three of gems, it's very possible that you guys might have gone through something together, like an emotional 
um, something like you guys both lost a friend or you there's some sort of trauma that you guys dealt with together um, or that you might deal with together that may bring you closer um, but yeah that's that's what I'm seeing so far for that so for the nine of swords it follows description for that one this one I have seen too. <laughs> um, this one is a young girl. Ugh, a young girl is followed by an unknown supernatural force after a sexual encounter. This movie is very interesting. Um, but we'll, 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 we'll get into that. So uh, the Knight of Swords represents paranoia, anxiety, and helplessness. So basically, in this whole movie, this girl is being followed by this random entity um, after she slept with this guy and this entity is out to, to kill her and basically <laughs> basically she has to sleep with another guy um, so it stops following her um, and it's an evil and malicious entity so there's all of this anxiety and paranoia within this movie um, but what's interesting <laughs> Is that we have the Empress card as the clarifier, which the Empress usually is like a very fem feminine, womanly energy, motherly, um, and receive is the keyword on this card. So I find it really interesting that you got receive. So maybe, maybe they might go through something and you're kind of you might be there to kind of help take on the burdens that they might be feeling. I'm kind of feeling that. Because, like, I feel like there's there's this, this journey. It's a very, very heavy-hearted journey that I feel that you guys might have gone on or are currently going on or may go on in the future. Um... Yeah, it, it's really interesting because this is like, you know, are you going to be their next partner? But I'm, I'm feeling like the energy thus far, just with your tarot cards and the song, I feel like it's going to be a journey. Um, and I think that's just to build a very strong foundation. But yeah, anyways, let's get into your mermaid messages. So the first one I drew was listen. The secrets of the sea become apparent when we listen to the sounds within the shell. So I feel like, you know, definitely this one is telling you maybe to pay a little bit more attention to them. Um, maybe offer your ear to them, like, you know, see how they're doing. Um, I mean, it's very possible that, you know, they could be going through something and they haven't told you yet. Um, so, you know, kind of try to be there for them. Try, try to listen as well. Um, but we also have breathe, which is a break from beneath the water's surface and soar up beyond the turquoise sea. So that's, I'm almost getting like the message to go above and beyond for this person. Yeah. Because I feel like right now they don't have a lot of, for, for some of you, they, they probably don't have a lot of people in their, their ballpark right now cheering them on. Because I feel, again, this very, very lonely energy with the Five of Cups. Like, I almost feel sad for this person. Um, I feel like possibly they're not in the right mind state for anything romantic yet, but I see potential. Um, but definitely I feel like you need to be there for them. Patience may be key in this. All right, let's go to your power of love cards. So the first one I drew, discernment. You are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. So with discernment, um, I feel like you kind of need to, maybe stay on the sidelines a little bit like be there for them but don't don't um overwhelm them too much too even though i did say um you know go go above and beyond 
but I feel like that's above and beyond of what you were doing before kind of a thing like if you were if you weren't even in contact with them before sort of a deal if that makes any sense um but also you kind of you got to be smart you got to listen to your heart and know whenever you have that feeling that you need to message them follow that and message them um use your discernment to figure that out on when is the right time to reach out and then <laughs> then we have spontaneity um move you move beyond and oh my gosh i can't speak today you move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations oh yeah that's that's a very good quality especially if they're going through something right now um and with this breathe card, this bird just keeps popping back, back up at me. Um, I think like a bird, you need to be spontaneous and just subtly fly off and be there for them. Sort of a deal. Um, but do use your discernment. Do use that. Um, like if you feel like the timing is not right to do it, listen to yourself and don't do it. <laughs> um... But yeah, I feel like there's just a situation they're going through with this person. And then we have, for your messenger oracle, time to reflect. So, I feel like this is maybe you, what you need to maybe mention to them. Like, if there's something they're, I feel like there's, again, there's something they're going through. And I feel like you need to gently remind them to reflect on the goodness that they do have in their life right now. Um, or reflect on the little things. And this could be a message to you saying you need to also reflect a little bit. I'm not sure what you need to reflect on, but for some of you, you need to do some reflecting. And I feel like once you do that reflecting, things will will come up all right and then for your second messenger oracle card we have do not fear the unknown so I feel like there is some hesitation from you um I almost feel like you're afraid that you might annoy them too much but I feel like they definitely they they're needing some sort of they need someone there for them, and you, I, I just, I get this very sad and lonely energy. I don't know what's going on with them, but it's very sad and heavy. It's poss possibly they maybe they lost their mother or something. Um, but I feel like. They just really need somebody there for them right now. And I'm really feeling for this person, whoever it is. Um, so as for the question, you know, are you their next partner? All of these, like, it's, it's very heavy energy. I keep saying that. It's just so, so heavy. <laughs> um, but I feel like if you, you truly do, you know, listen and are there for them and stuff I feel like that this either it's going to be a the start of a very very good friendship or it could be the start of a, a, a relationship I could see it going either way um, as for their feelings for you I feel like I, I I'm don't I'm not getting any feelings from them I'm just, other than they they need somebody there for them right now and I know this is a general reading. If this isn't making sense to you at all, then you are more than welcome to go to a a different pile um, for a different reading and message. Um, oh my gosh, I keep forgetting. Oh my, I picked the card song, or the song cards, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so great, and I forget about them, but. Reiterating to that lightning card, um, 
by state champs. I think there is a high possibility that you could be their next partner. I, yeah. I think, I think it's a, a high possibility. I'm not going to say a yes or a no, because um, it could be friendship or it could not be friendship. Um, it could be love, could not be love. But I feel like um, if, when it does happen, it's going to be very unexpected. But as of right now, they're not ready for any sort of romance because they're dealing with some deep stuff. Um, so just be by their side for now and use your discernment and really listen. And I feel like then you will know when is the right time to, you know, start telling them, you know, I, I kind of like you like that, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I, I really do hope this made sense to at least one of you, if not all of you. Um, and if you ever do have any questions about any readings, or if you just want to talk to me or something, you can always hit me on my Instagram, Green Bitch Terror, with the two Vs. And, yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful morning, night, day, whenever. Love you all so much, and we'll see you next time. Okay, bye! Alright, group two, if you chose the Amazonite, this message is for you. Uh, and the question is, are you their next partner? Sorry for that awkward pause. I don't know why I did that. Anyways, let's get to the cards. <laughs> All right. So the overall energy for this reading with the song card is Smile by M Maisie Peters. And I will get into that song in a minute with the lyrics. But for now, I'm going to show you the cards. That you got. So the first card we have is the Queen of Pentacles. The Devil Wears Prada is representing that. And then the second card we have is the Two of Cups, which is represented by the movie Moonlight. And the third card we have is the High Priestess, which is represented by the movie Colossal. I surprisingly have not seen any of these movies. <laughs> but I have the description, so we will look at those. All right, so for your clarifiers, very interesting because we got all um, Major Arcana. So for the clarifier for the Queen of Pentacles, we have the star, which is Rejuvenation. And then for the clarifier of the Two of Cups, we have Death, which is Let Go. And then for the clarifier for the Hyde Priestess, we have the Sun, which is Clarity. And then for your mermaid messages, we have flow. And we also have opportunity. All right. And then for your power flow cards, we have action. We'll, we'll read those cards a little later. And then we also have satisfaction. You know what's interesting? I just noticed that action is within satisfaction. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting all right and then for your messenger oracle cards we have know your power and we also have focus then act all right so let's go to the song first so smile by Maisie Peters this was actually in the recent movie birds of prey and it's a, it's a very, very interesting song. Um, so basically, this song is a very female-driven song. Um, female power-driven song. Like, she's no more Mrs. Sweet, nice, no more Mrs. Polite, no more, or time for taking what's mine, you don't need him, um... <laughs> got bridges to burn and places to run and like one of the key words in this song is a smile is a loaded gun and while I was listening to the song I did write down some things um so again smile is a loaded gun um which when I when I think of that I think of secrets like um 
there, there's a little bit of evilness behind that smile sort of a deal. I, I got a lot of Scorpio in Gemini vibes as well. They're done with games, um, a strong feminine energy, and they won't bat a lash if you leave. So I again, I'm feeling a very strong feminine energy from this. And just generally from the cards, I also got some more messages like, again, strong feminine energy. <laughs> and make them chase you and then we also have you decide not them it's interesting that i got both of those make them chase you and then you decide not them interesting very strong female energy here though um and especially especially with our friend over here the Devil Wears Prada card, which is the Queen of Pentacles card. I'm gonna, I'll show you the description of that movie. Okay, so the Queen, the Devil Wears Prada is about a smart but sensible new graduate lands a job as an assistant to Miranda Priestley, the demanding editor in chief of a high fashion magazine. And the High Priestess is generally like a very materialistic, very confident, very practical. Um, but again, you know, the, the queens are generally very nurturing, but they're like, oh, I'm sorry that happened, but I'm not going to give you a hug. Sort of a deal. <laughs> so it, it makes a lot of sense with that movie because um, I've, I've seen some of the movie. Um, but yeah, definitely very... I feel like this person is very confident. It could be a man, it could be a woman, but I'm, again, I feel strong women, uh, strong female vibes, but they, they, um, they're very much, they're, they're, they're fine by themselves. Like they, they don't need you, <laughs> but at the same time for the clarification card, we have the star, interesting because star, Pinnacles, anyways, which is rejuvenation. So I feel like I almost feel like there's some Leo vibes here too, because I feel like they thrive off of your com their compliments and stuff like that. Um, and they love sharing news with you and information of like good times in their life. Gosh, this is this is just interesting. Um, this this strong female energy off the bat. And then, all right, so we'll, we'll go to the Two of Cups, which is represented by Moonlight. So this movie is about a young African-American man grapples with his identity and sexuality while experiencing the everyday struggles of childhood, adolescence, and virgining, virgining? <laughs> adulthood. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what that word is. So for going I don't know okay stop stop with that word um anyways um so that's interesting that that movie is with the two of cups again but there is that that sexual energy because I feel like this movie is about a guy who's questioning um kind of exploring all of these emotions at once so that actually that that makes a lot of sense so there's a lot of emotion behind this person um and two cups usually means like harmony, um, some sort of balance, and making compromises. So I feel like there is some vulnerability to this person. But then for the clarifier card, we have death, which is let go. So, but the, this death card. It, it could also be like rebirth. So it's very possible that they could be in a state right now where they, they feel like they're fine by themselves, but romantically they kind of let go a little bit. Um, they kind of bring those, those walls down a little bit of being strong by their themselves and being okay by themselves. 
And I feel like that's with romance, like, <sighs> maybe you hit their soft spot, you know? <laughs> it's interesting. Very interesting. All right, let's move on to the um, High Priestess with Colossal. So for the movie Colossal, let's get the movie up. All right, I have not seen this movie, but it looks interesting. It has Anne Hathaway. <laughs> All right, so this movie is about Gloria is an out of work party girl forced to leave her life in New York City and move back home. When reports surface that a giant creature is destroying Seoul, she gradually become gradually comes to the realization that she is somehow connected to this phenomenon. Interesting. All right, so my priestess generally represents mystery, um, secrets, and um, using your intuition. And I, I really like how this card is put too because you see this person, it she's kind of realizing maybe she's the monster in all of this. Um, Cause it, it sounds like this movie Colossal is kind of like a mystery sort of. Um, and, and you see right here how it's mimicking her. So that, that's a movie I definitely want to watch. That seems interesting. Um, but yeah, there's, there is some mystery to this person. They, they probably, maybe they're not in touch with you too much. But then for the clarifier, we have the sun, which is clarity. So maybe, maybe they, they don't talk to you too much, but they, they still, there is still some sort of connection here though. Because just with that Colossal card, I feel like you do have a connection and you do make them feel weak and vulnerable, even though they are very strong, very, very strong. Um, that's interesting. This, this whole reading is pretty interesting because we have this strong feminine vibe, but we're seeing her weak side come through or his weak side come through. Um... Anyways, let's go into the mermaid messages. So the first card is flow, let your worries drift away. So it's possible that you're maybe worrying too much about this person and you need to kind of just stop worrying so much about them. Cause I feel like, you know, wh whatever they decide to do, they're good. They're good by themselves and they don't need you to be worrying too much about them. Um, but definitely feed them compliments because I feel like this person really likes compliments. <laughs> and then we have opportunity. You will provide, you will, you will provide, you will prove yourself and discover if you are brave enough. If you are brave, if, oh my gosh, you will prove yourself and discover if you brave the rough seas. So this, I'm kind of getting the sense that this may be sort of possibly a little bit of a journey um I feel like this person may be very hot and cold with you as well so oh that's interesting because we have the sun and we also have moonlight the, the movie moonlight moon so it's possible that they're, they're very you know light and dark with you very hot and cold with you so I feel like this person is kind of just doing their own thing and you need not to worry too much about them. Anyways, um, let's go into the Power of Love cards. So first one we have is Action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. Um, you know what, I'm gonna look at the satisfaction because we have Literally, I noticed that action within satisfaction. And this one is let, or you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. That, that definitely is her, is her or him. Um, they're fine without you. But 
you can't have satisfaction without action. And they, I feel like this person loves, loves having you around. You give them a lot of satisfaction. And I feel like if you pull away from them, they kind of get sad. Yeah, action, action, satisfaction. Anyways, but with the action, yeah, I just feel like, you know, when you do take action, um, complimenting them or being there for them, they really do appreciate that, even though they might not show it. <laughs> All right, so for your messenger oracle, we have know your power, and then we also have focus then act. Now, what I thought was really interesting with these two cards is that they both have horses, and they their head positions is kind of the same too. I don't know what that means, but if you do, like definitely leave a comment below. Oh, we also have the moon here too. Gosh, a lot of sun and moon energy. Gosh, I I feel like they're this is either a Scorpio or a Gemini or maybe a Leo. <laughs> could not be, it could be you, I, I don't know. But I'm feeling those vibes strongly. Um, but yeah, I feel like, <sighs> know your power. You're definitely very powerful to them in the sense that they kind of, you kind of keep them going. But with the focused and then act, I feel like you need to, oh, and the opportunity too, you, it's, it may take some time, um, but when the timing is right, like, you'll sort of know it. We have the lightning here, and then we have, like, the lightning on the sword. Like, you'll sort of know when is the right time to act. All right, so, are you their next partner? I definitely see, I mean, again, this, this could be a friendship or this could be a relationship. I do see them being very okay on their own, especially with the smile card. Um, I feel like they do have some secrets that they keep from you. But I feel like they like having you around. So that's why they keep those secrets because they're afraid of being vulnerable to you. Being insecure a little bit within themselves. But you know, I, I do see that there could be some sort of relationship here because you they do you do make them feel weak um and you do make them feel like they can let their guard down oh my gosh and we have another moon so many moons there's so many secrets ah <laughs> so much moon energy here and then we have the sun this is crazy i keep noticing all these moons um gosh i almost feel like if this person likes you then they're gonna tell you but we also have these Make them chase you, you decide not them. Messages that I was getting. I feel like if they want to be with you, they will make it known. Um, but for now, you need to really go with the flow and focus on yourself. Um, don't be so focused on them but still be there for them. Because I feel like this person, they may, may not be ready at the moment. I mean, I just keep staring at Meryl Streep right here with the Queen of Pentacles from Deadpool with his Prada, and I'm just getting this, you're not going to tell me what to do vibe? Like, the, they will decide when, if this relationship is going to develop. Um... But yeah, I, I, mean, I definitely see there being a possibility here for you guys. Um, yeah, definitely stay patient, but still, you know, be their friend. Every relationship, every 
strong relationship that I've known has started off with a great friendship. So I highly recommend that. And I hope that this reading resonated with at least one of you, if not all of you. And if it didn't, you're more than welcome to choose a different pile. Um, and, you know, if you guys do end up getting together, or if you do relate to this reading, you know, just leave a comment below. Um, this is a timeless reading, so it doesn't matter when you watch this. And yeah, anyways, I hope that you guys have a beautiful, wonderful morning, night, day, whenever it is. And we'll see you all next time. Okay, bye! Alright, group three, if you chose the Boonstone, this message is for you. Are you their next partner? Let's take a look. All right, so for the overall song feeling for this reading we have is This is Gospel by Panic at the Disco. And I will get into the song lyrics and um, my general feelings from when I was listening to the song. But let's get into the tarot cards. Now, with the movie tarot cards, I will get into the, the IMDb description of them as well. So the first tarot card we have is The Lovers represented by Before Summerize. And then the second tarot card we have is the Two of Pentacles, which is represented by the talented Mr. Ripley. The third tarot card we have is the Nine of Cups, represented by a Knight's Tale. And then for clarifiers, for the lovers, we have the Seven of Lightning, which is Defense. And then for the Two of Pentacles, we have Skill Development, which is the Novice of Gems. <laughs> and then for the Nine of Cups with the Knight's Tale, we have the Six of Clouds, which is Transition. And then I actually got three mermaid messages for you guys. So the first one we have is Guidance. The second one we have is Ambition. I'll, I'll read all these back, don't worry. Um, and then the third one we have is Patience. All right, and then for your Power of Love cards, we have Evolution. We have Cooperation. And then for your Messenger Oracle, we have Embrace the Masculine. And for your final oracle card, we have Be Without Malice. Interesting. And there are people yelling outside, so I'm very sorry in advance if you do hear that. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's get into the song. Okay, this is Gospel by Panic at the Disco. So, get the lyrics out for you guys. All right. So, this one, the general gist of it, um, he, I, kn I know from um, just talking about the song with other people, like, he mentions a lot of, like, biblical um, things within the song. So, there could be, like, a religious aspect to this person. Just a little off note. It could relate, could not relate, but um, the general thing is, you know, he says, if you love me, let me go. Um, but the, he also, he says, if you love me, let, if you love me, let me go a lot. But he also says, um, the fear of falling apart as well. So I feel like they, they might be very dependent on you. Um, let me read off some of the, the messages I was getting as I was listening to the song. So, oh yeah, at the beginning of the song, it's a heartbeat. Um, so I feel like that's, the message it's from their heart um or what they 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 want to say to you sort of a thing um again if you love me let me go truth be told i never was yours that's a that's a line in there and then the fear of falling apart again so we'll see what that means um because I feel like this song is, he's very, he's like, yeah, I can make it without you, but I'm, I'm afraid of making it without you sort of a deal. Um, and then a general message that I got from this reading 
uh, just like just when I was shuffling was you make me feel vulnerable so that's, that's generally what I felt right off the bat um, as I was shuffling these cards and getting the messages anyways let's go into the tarot cards all right so the lovers before sunrise let's look at the description of that movie all right, so before sunrise, a young man and woman meet on a train in Europe and wind up spending um, one evening together in Vienna. Unfortunately, both know that this will probably be their only night together. So it's your, your classic little romance story, um, but there's also this, this looming uncertainty as well. Um, and then the lovers, it generally means, you know, like romance, sex, um, but also there's like some blinded passion there. Like, I mean, especially if you meet somebody on a train, you don't know a lot about them. <laughs> you, you just met this person and there's this like blinded passion of being with them. Um, and for your clarifier, we have defense. So I feel like maybe at first there was this blinded love and passion between you guys and now they may be a little bit on the defense, or you may be a little bit on the defense. Um, thinking, you know, whoa, we, we're going really fast here. Like, let's slow down. Like, obviously, we're, like, very attracted to each other, but we got, we got to slow down a little bit. All right, so let's go to the Two of Pentacles with the talented Mr. Ripley. So this one is in the late 1950s New York, Tom Ripley, a young underachiever is sent to Italy to retrieve Dickie Greenleaf, a rich, spoiled millionaire playboy. But when the errand fails, Ripley takes extreme measures. How far would you go to become someone? Interesting. I was just reading that from that tagline. I haven't seen the movie. And it's interesting that we have skill development. All right, so the Two of Pentacles is about, like, you know, balance and harmony, juggling responsibilities, um, a lot of, maybe there's a lot on their plate at the moment, um, and then we have skill development as the clarifier, so, you know, it's interesting with this movie, because I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like maybe... He has to make some compromises to make this work out because that errand didn't work but either way I see a lot of work within this person but you bring out that vulnerable side to them too <laughs> I definitely feel that oh there's some passion between y'all but they there are they are working on themselves still so yeah All right, so let's go to the Nine of Cups, which is a Knight's Tale. Oh, Heath Ledger, rest in peace. I have a friend who looks exactly like Heath Ledger, and I have issues. <laughs> Anyways, so this one is about um, after his master dies, a peasant squire, fueled by his desire for food and glory, creates a new identity for himself as a knight. Heath Ledger. Sorry, he's obviously one of my favorites. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, the Knight of Cups generally means, like, wishes, dreams, and, um, material and physical happiness, um, being very fulfilled, uh, very selfish kind of card, too. Um, <laughs> that goes really perfectly with the Knight's Tale. Gosh. Freaking Heath Ledger seeking all that fame and glory and Nine of Cups, or not Nine of Cups, yeah, Nine of Cups, seeking that that fame and all that stuff, physical happiness. Um, but yeah, for the clarifier, we have the Six of Clouds, which is transition. So I feel like he kind of humbled him a little bit in a way. Um, 
you kind of make their dreams come true a little bit. I kind of feel like that. Um, but there, there is this transition, like maybe you help them realize that maybe all that they thought they wanted isn't exactly what they wanted anymore. Sort of a deal. Well, let's get into the uh, marine messages. All right, so guidance. Find safety in your beacon's light. And we have a lighthouse here. So I feel like maybe they look to you for some guidance or they confide to you. Um, either way, I feel like they, they kind of do look up to you in a way. Um, they look for your approval in a, a weird way. And then we have ambition. Set your sights beyond the horizon. We have the telescope here. There's a lot of distance here, like with the telescope and then the lighthouse. Generally, that's for ships. The light shines out far enough for them to see their way home. So I'm wondering, maybe you guys are at a distance right now um, within your friendship or relationship. Um, I think uh, this is a, are you going to be their next partner thing. So I, I feel like there's some distance. Um, yeah. And then we have patience. The tide will come in when it's ready. So I definitely feel like this person, they, they might not be ready. It could possibly just be because there's a distance and they haven't met you yet. Or I feel like this is a new, new relationship too. Could be, this feels very fresh, whatever this is. But there's definitely this very, it was very loving and passionate at the beginning. Um, but I think they're, they kind of, maybe they're, they're holding back a little bit because they have, they realize they need to work on themselves some more. Um, that they're not quite ready yet. So this, I feel like there's going to be a journey. Um, but there will be a transition within it. But it's going to take some patience. All right, let's go to the Power of Love cards. So, first one we got was Evolution. You realize that the obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. Not really, I don't know, it could could go with the, the Two of Pentacles here. Um, There could be, oh yeah, yeah, okay, this is making more sense to me, because you guys, you started off very hot and fiery, and I feel like it's simmered down some, um, and it's kind of just for you guys to, to learn more about each other. There's going to be an evolution within the relationship, sort of a deal. And then we have cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. So I almost feel like this person, like you're meant to learn from this person too. Cause I feel like this person, they really know about love. Like love is something that they, like with the nine of cause I feel like love is just, they get it, they know what it is. And I'm be, I'm getting called to this, um, this is gospel card, by Panic at the Disco. If you love me, let me go. That line. Truth be told, I never was yours. And they're afraid of losing you. All right, let's go, let's go into the um, Messenger Oracle cards. We have Embrace the Masculine. So there could be a lot of masculine energy within you two or within them or within you. Um, maybe telling you to man up or something. I, I don't know. Take it as it resonates. And then we also have Be Without Malice. So... 
I almost, I feel like this person has pulled away from you some, and you're kind of like, well, why, why are you pulling away? Like, we have all this, we had this very passionate, like, thing going on, but I feel like it's, it's not out of malice from them. I feel like they just realize that they, you know, yeah, they have these, they, they like this with you, but they have stuff they gotta work on first. And it's gonna be a journey. Um, you gotta be patient with them. But, you know, as for if you are gonna be their next partner, their next relationship, I'm, gosh, you know, I'm kind of getting, I'm getting some mixed feelings here, because I feel like this is a situation you're supposed to learn from. Like, you guys were meant to learn from each other. I feel like if you do get together, it will be, it'll be a while, like, because this, this whole thing is new and fresh. I'm getting this new, fresh energy from whatever this relationship is that you've had with this person. They definitely see you romantically, but they put their guard up. You know, I'm going to say yes, there is the possibility of this becoming a partnership. But only if you give them time. Because I feel like this person isn't ready yet. Um, but kind of kind of be there for them. And it's definitely, we're meant to learn from each other. So it, again, it could, oh gosh, I hate that it's like not a clear yes or a clear no. <laughs> because, you know, on one side, like, oh yeah, it could possibly happen, but it, it may take a while, but on the other side, on the no side, we have this as a learning experience for you. So I feel like this is resonating either one or the other for you guys. Um, I see two different answers here. And, you know, whichever one you feel resonates more, then obviously that's, that's the answer for you. Um, sometimes it's not a clear yes or no. Um, but yeah, just to, going back to the, this is gospel card, um, the line, I never noticed this before when I was listening to the song, but the line, fear of falling apart, that I didn't realize he said that line so much. Um, all I remember is, you know, if you love me, let me go. But the fear of falling apart, there is some dependency, codependency on, on this relationship between you and this person. So yeah, anyways, I hope that this reading resonated with at least one of you, if not all of you. And if you have any questions or want to go further within a reading, you can always send me on my Instagram, Green Bitch Tarot with the two Vs. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful, wonderful morning, night, day, whatever. I love you all so much, and we'll see you next time. Okay, bye. All right, group four, if you chose the clear quartz, this message is for you. Are you going to be their next partner, relationship, whatever it may be? Let's see. All right. So for the overall energy, the song we have is Heroin by Bad Flower. And I will go into the lyrics and messages that I got from listening to that song um, after I show you all the other cards that you got. And for the movie cards, I will show the um, description of the movies. All right. So the first card we have is... The moon, represented by the movie Moon. <laughs> and then um, we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is represented by a loyal, or, no, a royal affair. And then your third card is the Nine of Pentacles, Down with Love. And then for the clarifiers for the moon, we have... The Master of Gems, which is Wealth. 
And then for the Knight of Pinnacles, we have the Hierophant, which is Unlearn. Interesting. And then for the interesting for the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Clouds, which is Anxiety. And I had got three mermaid messages for you guys. I think I got I got three uh, messenger or oracle cards for you too. All right. So first one we have, we have perseverance, and then we have stillness, and we have voyage. All right. And for your power of love cards, we have ownership, and we have individuality all right and for your messenger oracle we have love that you are different getting that card a lot lately one of you is a very individualistic person or something individuality ah. okay anyways um, and we also have stay strong and be patient all right, let's get into the song, Heroin by Bad Flower. I love this song. Just gonna say that right off the bat. All right, so basically this song is about a guy who has a very casual relationship um, with a woman, um, very, sexual kind of song and he's like addicted to her like she's heroin and like he can't stop thinking about her and there's sort of like this obsession she's in my head again she knows where I've been I'm going down that road again she's in my bed again <laughs> and you know it's just I, it's like a very uh I want to say like a cycle like they keep going through the cycle of hooking up sort of a deal um so yeah, the, this is the one. So the messages I was getting while I was listening to the song is um, you're on their mind a lot. Sorry if it's like all gross looking. <laughs> um, this may be a casual relationship as well. Um, but you're kind of, they're kind of addicted to you in a way too. Lots of sexual chemistry, lots. Possibly friends with benefits, more sex. <laughs> S-E-X in capital letters. And then addicted to you physically. Because he never mentions emotions in this song. He mentions a lot of physical about her. So I've, I've got a very strong message of physicality to this. So this could be, you could be in like a friends with benefits sort of relationship with this person um, at the moment. But yeah, um, and then the messages I got while I was shuffling, I got <laughs> Scorpio vibes, definitely Scorpio vibes, and um, giving too much energy to this person. So let's see, let's take a look. Let's look at your tarot cards. All right, so let's look at the movie, The Moon see the description of it all right so the moon it is about astronaut sam bell has quintessentially personal encounter toward has a okay has a quintessentially personal encounter towards the end of his three-year stint on the moon where he worked alongside his computer garrity sends back to earth parcels of resource that helped him diminish our planet's power problem. Okay. And then for the moon card, the moon the moon generally means like deception, secrets, um, using your intuition, looking beyond the surface. So I, I haven't seen that moon movie, but I feel like just from that description, like this whole relationship with this computer Garrity, like maybe there's 
there's there's something going on there. Um, if you've seen the movie, you know, definitely comment below and tell me if it relates. But there's there's some sort of deception going on here, and it makes sense with the song Heroin, too. Um, and then for the clarifier, we have Wealth. So, hmm. I'm kind of getting the vibe just from the moon card. Like maybe they're 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 enjoying this situation a little too much. Like I feel like you may be giving them a little too much. Like this is a very it's just a very shallow kind of connection that I'm feeling thus far. But let's let's keep reading. All right, so the Knight of Pentacles, a royal affair. Let's take a look at that. All right, so a royal affair, a young queen who a young queen who is married to an insane king falls secretly in love with her physician, and together they start a revolution that changes a nation forever. Interesting. We got like a love split love story here going on with that movie um and the knight of pinnacles is generally like a very ambitious card again very materialistic again with the money there's a lot of money here those pentacles um when i think of money i also think of like being possessive too um but they work hard for what they get But yeah, with the Knight, Knight of Pentacles and a Royal Affair, how, it's, it's very possible they could be like in some sort of a relationship already, maybe. But then for the clarifier, we have the Hierophant, which is generally like news, um, a learn maybe news that brings about change. So, I mean, there are there are some changes that you tr you're tr they're trying to make together with you, I feel like, or maybe they're trying to make by themselves. But I feel like, I feel like it's more together kind of a deal, but there's just again, I feel a lot of like materialistic vibes here. All right. So, let's go to the 9 of pentacles with down with love. Let's check out this movie. All right, so this movie, um, in 1962, New York City, love blossoms between a Playboy journalist and a feminist uh, advice author. Huh. So we got the Playboy and the feminist here. And then for the clarifier, we have anxiety. But yeah, this, this card, Knight of Pentacles, generally means, you know, confidence, independence, and being prosperous as well. I, gosh, I'm getting, like, you guys are both, like, good by yourselves, but at the same time, when you guys get together, there's this just fire and addiction and passion, and, <sighs> but I feel like there is some anxiety when they are away from you, or when you're away from them. It's very, very interesting. All right, let's go to the mermaid messages. All right, so the first one we have, we have perseverance, stay the course. And we have like this little um, compass thing on a map over here. So it may be a little bit before something real happens between you guys. I just feel like this is all very I can't think of the word. Shallow? I, I don't know. I, that's not the right word. Um, anyways, and then the next mermaid message we have is stillness. In calm waters, everything becomes clear. So maybe, possibly, if you do decide to step back a little bit, um, you'll see their true intentions. 
and we have the, the helmet right here too. Um, and I'm kind of getting the message that you'll be able to, to see and breathe more clearly once you step away a little bit. And then we also have Voyage set sail on a new course. So it could be a little bit of a journey between you guys. Maybe you guys have been going at this for a while. You've been doing this on an on again, off again thing. But yeah, let's go to your Power Love cards. So the first one we have is ownership. You acknowledge your mind, your misdeeds and accomplishments alike, and learn to love them all as lessons. So I mean, it could be possibly that you know you, you know that this this relationship, or they know that this relationship is very much on a very superficial, that's the word, superficial level. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting that feeling. Like, there, there is some knowledge. Like, you guys know what you're doing. <laughs> and then we have individuality. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. So, I mean, it could be possibly just the way you guys... There's something about you that has them addicted to you. There's something about you. And it's your unique stamp of of love. Of There's something so addicting about you. And we have Free Mr. Oracle, love that you are different. So you're different from other people. Um, they're not like this with everybody else. You bring this out of them. Um... They're, they're addicted to you in, in this weird sort of way. And then we have Stay Strong. Now, when I saw this card, I, I kind of was like, huh. Okay. It almost makes me wonder, like, maybe they're not wanting that sort of... Like, they're not wanting a relationship at first. So, you know, with the Voyage card, it could be a little bit of a journey. And then we have be patient. So, you know, overall, what I'm, I'm very strongly feeling, um, are you going to be their next partner? I, I honestly feel like it is a no because I feel like this is a very superficial relationship that you have with them. Um, you guys need to learn a little bit more about each other and get beyond that superficialness. Because <sighs> I don't see it going anywhere if you just keep it just at what you've had it be going at. Um, and then, yeah, giving too much energy to this person, it's very possible that, you know, maybe you're too available for them. You're making it too easy for them. And they, they, maybe they've gotten a little bit lazy. Um, but, it, you know, again, I'm feeling like there's no honesty here. Like, there's, there's some deception. Um, it's a very superficial relationship that I'm feeling. But I do feel like, you know, you guys, you do want to, maybe they want to eventually get to that romantic point with you, but there, it's going to take a while. But yeah, overall, I just, I'm feeling like it's a no. And I, I really hate to say that. Um... I feel like they're they're pretty good on their by themselves and I feel like they're definitely addicted to you like in not the right way addicted to you very superficial level um, 
and when you leave they kind of get like anxious. They got their head in the clouds when you're with them. But, you know, again, we do have to be patient. So, you know, if it does, be patient and voyage. We also have persevere, stay the course. Like, yeah. I feel like I, what I'm what I'm getting. I feel like if you if you really do put forth the effort, kind of hold back and put forth the effort of building up the friendship and not the sexual sort of relationship you might have, you may be able to move on beyond that. Um, and that's just for a few select of you, but generally, what I am getting is a a no for being their next partner but it is a yes if you do take that time but yeah all right well i hope that this made sense to at least one of you if not all of you if it didn't if it doesn't resonate at all you're more than welcome to choose another um pile and um if you want to go deeper with it in any readings you could always hit me up on my instagram green bitch terror with the two v's and I hope that you guys have a beautiful, wonderful morning, night, day, whenever it is. I love you all so much. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.